everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yet another video this week. There is Claire and her little heifer calf that we've named Lucy. Claire was the first to have her calf. Um, I wanna say f on Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Hi Lucy, cute calf. And then just below the hill, we've got Belle and her little calf. And this little guy is Lewis. Little bull calf was born the next day, Friday. Or if she had it Thursday, Belle had had this little guy on Friday. And uh, he is a obviously a very healthy, vigorous little bull calf. And he is drinking from those mammoth, mammoth teats. Lucy's taking a little little early nap, checking out. Lucy, are you really? Why don't you go run around? Run around, little stinker, huh? Go go for a little run. <laughs> I just pushed up the uh, the hay, the wasted hay and manure that was in a a big mat. I do that every year, and then uh, I actually had spread that manure today from last year's pile. So that's what the cows are checking out because that was a job I did today. What are you doing? You don't really want to do that on video, do you? All right, I'll spare everybody. Oh, geez. You know, you try to make a nice family-friendly video and you gotta take a, you know what? All right, look at this guy. He's king of the mountain. Look at this calf climbing. What are you doing up there, dude? What are you doing up there? Just calves being calves. They like to explore just like uh, any other critter. What are you doing, man? And mom's watching. She's keeping a close eye on him. Boy, she has been, uh, she has just been a rock star. Belle every year is a rock star with, uh, we checked her at like four o'clock. By 4.30, the calf is out, cleaned right off. Um, calf was up within, I mean, minutes and uh, trying to drink from her, trying to nurse. And uh, everywhere the calf goes, she's, she's right there keeping a close eye on him. Mm. Last year we did a video on Belle and uh, we tried to help milk it out so that she wouldn't get mastitis. And uh, this year we just kept a close eye, but this calf was, was drinking and such a happy, healthy calf that uh, we didn't really, we didn't really feel the need to, uh, we, you know, we would have obviously haltered her and, uh, you know, tried to milk it out if we needed to. There's the difference. The Hereford, the red cow, that's the size bag and teats you should have. And then, and then you've got this Hereford Holstein cross and that's, that's the size difference. Now, if we, if we follow these two calves, I mean, obviously she's a heifer, so she's going to be smaller. But from that, from that amount of milk that this little bull calf is going to drink, he's going to put on size uh, twice as fast as most normal uh, calves. And uh, every, every steer calf, every bull calf that Bell has produced has just been a mammoth um, because obviously they have so much milk to drink from there. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring you a quick video tonight, guys, show you the, show you the two new additions to the herd. Um, we've got two other cows in this pasture with these two, Claire, um, this is Claire and this is Belle. And then you've got, um, Flicka is the Black Angus and Rosie is a Shorthorn Semitol Hereford cross. 
and those two are also pregnant and do any time so when we get more calves we'll show you we brought the sheep out here so obviously you can see we've got sheep running around here and uh i wish the pasture looked a little better this paddock i just pushed it up here an hour ago so um the cows are having fun climbing on the hill and uh i've got work to do <clears throat> low battery i just wanted to bring you one more video today uh this week guys and then i'll uh once i get the we get into the uh pumpkin patch and get planting i'll get some more videos on that otherwise guys we're at five six minutes um i hope you enjoyed it when we get more calves i'll bring them to you thanks for watching we'll see you next time